Welcome to Mun Zion's Kids for Christ. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Kids for Christ. Have any of you ever seen Lion King on Broadway? How about Lion King the Disney movie? That's actually one of my favorite movies from Disney, especially this scene right here. You see, he lives in you. Simba, you are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true king. Remember who you are. 
just after this scripture from Naya, we're going to talk about something that we should remember that would help us. He is not here. He is not here. He has risen. He is risen. Thanks, Naya, for our scripture. He's not here. He is risen. Do you remember what he said to you when he was yet in Galilee? Remember. What does remember mean? Remember means to recall or think about something or someone from before. For example, at home, after you finish playing with your toys, you remember that you have to pack them away. We also remember our name, our birthday, our parents' names, our phone numbers, and so much more. When we're at school, you remember that you pack away your lunch, you wash your hands, and you say good morning to your teacher. You remember your routine. Now, when Jesus was alive, the routine when someone died was to gather the body and clean it. So after Jesus was crucified on the cross, some women came to clean his body. But guess what? Jesus' body wasn't there. They were wondering, well, what happened? Where did he go? And that's when two men in shiny clothes came to them and said, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here. He is risen. Do you remember what he said to you when he was yet in Galilee? He said, the son of man must be given over into the hands of sinful men. He must be nailed to the cross. He will rise again three days later. Days before Jesus was crucified, he spoke to these same women and he told them that he would die and he would ascend into heaven. But the women didn't remember. That's why in Luke 24, 6, it says, Jesus is not here. He has risen from death. Do you remember what he said in Galilee? And then they remembered and they told others about him. Remember, he's not here. He is risen. Easter is a time when we remember who Jesus was and all that he has done for us. Although Jesus isn't physically with us, he lives with us in our hearts and spiritually. Remember that video in the beginning where Simba was told to remember who he was and who his father was? Remember who you are. Just like Simba remembering who his father was gave him courage to go back home and be king, when we remember who Jesus is and that he died for us and rose again, we can be the young queens and kings that he has called for us to be. Just like Simba got courage when he remembered, we can get courage when we remember as well. Remember, he is not here. He has risen. Today, we're going to make Easter lilies, a flower that usually blooms in Bermuda around Easter time. For this craft, you're going to need glue, a pencil, scissors, and three different color paper. One big, another color as a long strip, and then a little square. The first thing we're going to do is outline our hand. Once your hand is outlined, we can cut it out. Now using our pencil, we're gonna curl over our fingers to make them look like petals.
mat. I'm gonna take our long strip of paper, start in a corner and roll it so that we can make the stem bar flower. Try to roll it as tight as you can. Once it's rolled, let's seal it with our glue. As that dries, let's work on the inside of our flower. Gonna fold our little piece of paper in half. Then on the crease, get your scissors and cut little slits. So it looks like that. Get our glue. And let's seal that shut. Excellent. Now we're gonna stick that onto our stem. Then we're going to take our flower, our handprint, sorry, to make our flower. You know, wrap it around. Use our thumb to seal it shut. And there we have our Easter lily. This Easter lily emerges or appears from a bulb that is planted in the ground, symbolizing new life. Just like Christ emerged from the tomb after he was dead and symbolized new life. Whenever we see an Easter lily, we can remember that he's not here. He is risen. Have a great week. See you next time.